Hi guys, welcome to Car Click 101. In this video, I'm going to check a repossessed car that is under 300,000 Philippine pesos. I am looking for a repossessed car to buy at a lower price and sell at a higher value. If you haven't seen my video on how to buy or bid on a repossessed car, you can click the link here at the top right corner. And at the end of this video, I will show you if it is worth buying or finding another car. And if you're not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. So this is the car that I will check. This is a 2016 Ford EcoSport 1.5 liter titanium with automatic transmission. This is the higher end of the Ford EcoSport. And it has a minimum bid of 263,900 pesos. We will check the exterior first. The hood is looking good, the headlights and fog lights are okay, there are no cracks, the body is looking good, its paint is also good, it just needs a buff and detailing, the windshield is fine, there are no cracks, the side mirrors are okay, and also the signal light. Let's check the suspension, I think this car is sitting here for a long time, maybe months. The tires are already thin, it needs replacement, its disc rotor is so rusted, this also needs replacement, the paint on the rim is breaking off, this needs restoration, the windows on the side are okay, and also its door panels, the body is in good shape, its rear tires are thick but the rim is the same on the front, it's breaking off. I think its drum brakes are also rusted inside. At the back, its tail lights are okay. Its windshield is fine, no cracks. Here's the spare tire cover. It has some damage but this can be fixed with a paint retouch. There's a spare tire in it. Its roof is fine, I don't see any damage. Here's the passenger side rear wheel. It has the damage as the other wheels. The glass here on the passenger side is okay. The passenger side door panels have no damage. The paint is good. Let's check underneath. I don't see any signs of a leak. Let's go to the engine. So this engine will start. I didn't get a video but I checked the coolant. It's empty. That's a bad sign. Then the ECU was dismantled to replace the battery. The brake master cylinder is okay and there is no leak. There is still brake fluid in it. The ignition wires are intact. I don't see any leaks in the engine. And when I check the oil dipstick, it has a milky white color and that's a bad sign. This engine might have a blown head gasket. That explains why the coolant is empty. It leaks through the engine oil. Now let's check the interior. The interior is quite dirty. The seats have good seat covers, which is good. The glove compartment is open. Maybe others check its fuse. Let's try the sunroof still working it opens and closes so this car has a 42k mileage and has an engine check alarm and other alarms also i checked the engine alarm with an obd scanner and i found this p2100 powertrain alarm it says that the actuator control motor circuit is open maybe the car wires were cut or it has a bad actuator control motor here's the back it is also dirty but its condition is good it just needs detailing here's the trunk the condition is good also after checking the car i compiled the things that needed to be fixed and let's see if i can make a profit from this car number one paint retouch it would cost me around seven thousand Rim restoration, this would cost me around 7,000. All four rims will be covered. Tires, a local tire could cost 3,150 each, so a total of 12,600. Head gasket, 1,500 for the coolant leak inside the engine. Brake rotors, 2,200 each, total of 4,400. Gear stick, 2,200. Change oil, 4,000. Coolant, 1,200. Documents, 2,500. Towing fee 3500, actuator 8631. If the alarm can't be fixed, I'm going to replace this. That's why this is included. So a total of 54,531 pesos. Let's add this to our minimum bid price 263,900 plus 54,531 equals 318,431 pesos, the total cost of the car. So its profit is market value minus car total cost equals 96,569 pesos if you don't encounter other problems. So that's a 30% profit. All this is a rough estimate. For me, this car is worth buying as a project car and selling it. After Christmas, I'll be back again searching for repossessed cars where I can make a profit. So be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell to be updated on my upcoming car videos.